welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin while tightening and firming the skin and also while getting rid of dark spots and blemishes. So what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to make you a complete facial mask. This mask is going to take care of wrinkles and fine lines. It's going to help to shrink those pores. It's also going to help to tighten, firm the skin and also hydrate the skin for a younger, brighter, more naturally radiant glowing skin so if you are having dull looking skin and if you're looking to take years off you what are you waiting for follow me to the kitchen i'll show you how to whip this up and i will also show you how to use it on your skin for best results so my first ingredient is potato and i'm using an irish potato also known as white potato to prepare the potato i'm gonna Peel the outer peel. Now, potato contains catecholase, which will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. Another thing I like about potato is that the potato starch will help to tighten and firm the skin. It will also help to shrink large pores by seeping deep into the pores, cleaning out the dead skin cells, and leave the pores totally clean to absorb your beauty products. Now, after peeling the potato, I am going to be using a grater to grate the potato. If you do not have a grater at this stage, you can choose to blend the potato. Now, once the potato is grated, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach for some lemon. And what we're trying to get is the lemon zest. So to extract the lemon zest, I'm also going to grate the lemon zest. Now, lemon zest contains vitamin C, which will help to brighten the skin. Vitamin C also will help to boost collagen production. And when mixed with the potato starch, this is going to create an amazing skin tightening, skin brightening facial mask. So slowly extract the lemon zest like I'm showing here. And once this is done, our next move is to extract the juice from both the lemon and the potato. So we're going to use a strainer for this. You can also use a cheesecloth. If you blend, you're still going to try to get rid of the trash. So you're going to strain. So I'm going to use my clean hands to extract the juice by pressing on the potato and the lemon zest. Simple pressing, pressing. And once this is done, Guess what we have here? Here we have our fresh potato and lemon juice. Now when it comes on to the remainder of the potato, you can choose to just go ahead and add a little brown sugar to it or add some rice and some olive oil and just use that to exfoliate the skin. So now guys, let us just move on. Now my next ingredient is rice powder. And here we have finely blended rice. To make rice powder, just put the rice in the blender, about a quarter cup, blend it for about three to four minutes, depending on the power of your blender. And then here you get rice powder. So what I'm gonna use is about three tablespoons of the rice powder. We're gonna be blending again, guys. So I'm gonna pour the three tablespoons of rice powder in the blender. Next, I'm gonna reach for some hot water. And I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of the hot water in the blender along with the rice. And next, guys, we are gonna just blend the rice and hot water together. The reason for using hot water is because we're making a rice paste. And if you use cold water, you're not gonna get it as creamy and you know thick as using the hot water. So take a look, look how creamy as I was just saying. This is an amazing rice paste. Now, when you make a rice paste, guys, you can put it away and add other ingredients in it to make your homemade remedies. So what I'm going to do next, scoop it in a bowl, and then we are going to stir. So just keep stirring. And as you can see, the more you stir, is the creamier it gets. I tend to use this rice paste sometimes to make my facial moisturizer. 
However, today we are making a facial mask. So now we are going to add some other ingredient to this. We're going to reach back for our potato and lemon zest. And take a look, guys. We are using only the potato starch. You can clearly see the potato starch at the bottom. So we're just going to pour off the top. And when you pour the top off, do not waste that, guys. That's still good to use in your other facial products. So now let's scoop our potato starch out and take a look, guys. And this is as fresh as it gets, guys. Fresh potato starch for the skin. You can actually choose to mix this potato starch with some egg white to make a skin tightening facial mask. Really effective, guys. And if you have not seen my video using the potato starch for a facial mask with egg white, I'll put the link below. And take a look at our potato starch up close. That is the behavior of a starch, guys. It's not just going to melt on your hands like that. That's when you know that the starch is good. So I'm going to pour my potato starch in the rice paste and this is about a teaspoon or so of the potato starch and let's pour this in a little of the potato starch goes a long way if you have regular potato starch you could also use it in this recipe and now we're going to blend our rice with our potato starch completely folding this in and completely blending the two skin tightening ingredients together so keep blending guys Today I'm going to be using jojoba oil and you can use oil of your choice guys. Jojoba oil or you can go ahead and use grapeseed oil. You can also choose to use some olive oil. You can use some sweet almond oil and just use the favorite oil and even some castor oil in this recipe. So I'm going to be using about one teaspoon of the jojoba oil and I'm pouring this in. And next, I'm going to use some aloe vera gel. You can choose to use Torbot, the liquid, the solid gel, or you can even use the fresh aloe vera gel in this recipe. So make your choice. Just try to use whatever kind of aloe vera gel that you have. I'm using just one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. You really do not need a lot. If you're using fresh aloe vera gel, you can go ahead and use a tablespoon. And now guys, we are going to mix and we're going to mix well. So what we're mixing, we're mixing rice paste. We're mixing aloe vera gel, we're mixing oba oil, and we're also mixing lemon and potato starch. So here we have our facial mask, guys. This is an anti-aging, skin tightening, skin brightening facial mask. So what you're going to do, guys, we're going to store this facial mask in a small jar. And because we have no form of a preservative in in this facial mask then you know you got to use it up within seven days or so so let's just pour this in our small jar now once this is done our facial mask is ready to use so you're going to apply this to clean skin on your face your neck and your decollete you're going to leave it on for about 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're going to rinse off preferably with cold water pat dry the skin to reveal clean clear bright supple skin and then guys go ahead and use your favorite skincare products and you can store this in your refrigerator for you know up to seven days so there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and leave your comments. Those are always important. And if this was your first time watching, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.